I'm going to guess what everybody wants, and uh, I'm going to assume that uh, this time we're going to get the uh, we're going to get the region name. We're going to see the legendaries as motorcycles for some reason. Uh, we're going to get a new Eevee evolution. We're going to get starter evolution. We're going to get like future and past evolution or whatever the fuck that is. If anything, Sprigatito is going to evolve and it's going to be on two legs and everyone is going to cry and I'm going to laugh about it because I'm not part of the Sprigatito gang. <laughs> Someone said Poke Park 3? What the f I deadass thought that was a trailer. Hello everyone. I'm <laughs> Why? Why? Why is Buzzwool just squaring up in the back? <laughs> Okay. Hello, Pokemon trainers. I'm Chris <laughs> Brown from the Pokemon Company International, and I'm delighted to share with you. Was it Chris Brown, the guy that beat his wife? Was it Chris Brown, the guy that like beat the London, fuck out of his wife? Not only intense Pokemon battles, but also to beat <laughs> wait, 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 wait! Celebrating old friendships and creating new ones. All Am I misremembering that? Pictures. Oh my god, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there actually is a rapper named Chris Brown who has a history of violence against women. All the action from wherever you are. No way! Imagine if halfway through your life, a dude with the same exact name as you got outed as a woman abuser. Dude, that fucking blows. And what has become of Professor Willow, who was sucked into ultra space through an ultra world? <laughs> Stay tuned for the story's conclusion. This guy's basically just Will Byers from Stranger Things. Just got plopped into another daily dimension. <laughs> Nobody knows where he is. is Use daily adventure incense for a 15 minute adventure every day. This is literally just Niantic's years, we've seen desperate attempt to get people to play their game again. Go. Pokemon Unite, the hot app for Nintendo Switch and mobile devices. Uh, does anybody actually like unironically play Pokemon this game Unite like all the time? To grow and evolve since I mean, maybe. I, I, I don't know. I just have not seen anybody playing this game. A new type of quick battle. What the hell? All Pokemon on the field. Oh and my and god. Pikachu. We hope you join in the festivities. Dude, Pikachu's dripping. Look at all their clothes. Buzzwool will be joining oh my god. battles starting today. <laughs> this guy's buff. This dude's is buff as fuck. That can grapple opposing Pokemon and launch them into the Oh hell no. Run amok in battle. <laughs> Why is he a grappler? <laughs> which temporarily increases Buzzwool's movement speed and basic attack speed each time it knocks out an opposing Pokemon. How the fuck did you add a grappler into an this arena battler? Oh, what is this? Is this heart gold? Yo, this fight was awesome! Oh. Oh, I unironically play this game. Hmm. Oh, what is this? Oh, that makes sense. Oh no. Oh no, it's a dating simulator. Oh no! Uh what? What's this? Looks like Mewtwo's back in the Pokemon. Oh my fuck the fuck game, off. And it's hungry. Bro, who plays this game? With your cafe staff to treat Mewtwo who plays this shit? Once you make a lot of delicious drinks and dishes and How is this still getting updates? You join your staff. How? Maybe who plays you this shit, staff, bro? Mewtwo. Tip 1. Who plays this? Mutant Nobody Mutant fucking plays this game. Squirtle, the five star chef Literally like the, 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 the one or two are good at those people in this chat in the entirety of the you world the that are actually like pro Pokemon, Pokemon Cafe Pokemon remix Pokemon players are like losing their Pokemon. shit about this. Use these tips and make delicious How? And you should be able to satisfy the chat is in sleeper mode. One minute cooking a try. Oh, okay. Uh, I guess they ran out of budget for the animation. <laughs> Next up, an update on the Pokemon Scarlet. Oh my god, finally. Games. Stuff that I actually care about! Yeah, uh, what? 
The on-screen text and voiceovers are not present in game. <laughs> wow, they really had to clarify that dubs aren't a thing. Also, oh my wow, this looks really good. <gasps> Was that original whooper? Yo, those whoopers had blackface. Attention, please. Today we begin the oh. treasure hunt. Oh, yup, yup, legendaries. Travel across Paldea. Look, we. Oh my god! What the fuck? <laughs> no, they are bicycles! What the fuck? The abundant nature. Wait, they actually are bicycles? Why? The rich culture. <laughs> For why? <laughs> the Pokemon. Wait, so everyone wasn't actually kidding when that said like when they, when they were saying like, "Yo, they look like bicycles." They actually are bicycles. What the hell, man? Where will you go? Also, yeah, I'm kind of happy this these voiceovers aren't like Meet. in the game because these voiceovers are atrocious. What will you achieve? Oh, are those... Man, what the hell is that? With you will be your <laughs> What the fuck was that? Journey together. Oh my god, bro. What the fuck? Dude, Maridon is the only guy that actually looks like a, a, a mode of transportation. I'm sorry. That is so fucking weird. Oh no. Oh, what is this? Oh, what is this? Oh! What is this? Wait, they gave Dragonite a new form? So it's like you crystallize them? Let the treasure hunt begin. I'm I'm sorry, please break that down for me. The newest titles in the Pokemon series are the Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet games. I think you catch the legendaries These like super early on in the RPGs, game. A first for the Pokemon series. Cause like if they're used Brawling for like transportation, that would make a lot of sense. To form the also, wow. Region, where your oh, new so it is called Paldea. <laughs> These are the legendary Pokemon, Coridon and Miraidon. You'll rely on one of them as a partner. In this your looks adventure. really weird. And together you'll dash across grassy What fields, the hell? Move across water <laughs> and glide through the sky. <laughs> That looks so off. I'm sorry. While you explore every nook and cranny of that the That legit looks them. so weird. Bro, what? You will be enrolling at a certain academy as a student. Nanjara or Yuva Academy? And okay, so a special you go independent to, study project awaits you. You go to college? The treasure hunt. Through it. You'll embark on a journey to find treasure of your own here in Paldea. Yeah, and you find the legendaries Three within 20 grand minutes. stories are waiting for you. Oh. One story will revolve around the familiar gym battles. You'll oh. go to eight Pokemon gyms and aim for the champion rank. So this shit is in really games, just open world. There is no set path you must take when challenging the gyms. Chart your very own course. Oh, so that is like road. So that is the case. So it is like you can just challenge the gyms and like stories you'll experience in any way you want. Many surprises and discoveries as well. Oh, that's what sick! What story will you begin with? How will you progress through them? It is all up to you. So it is open world. Professor Damn, that's exactly Sada what uh, that's exactly what Charles wanted. Legends passed on in the Paldea region. Mr. You can actually Corbell go fight the, the, uh, the academy you'll attend. You can go fight everybody in like. The and order Mr. that you Jacques want. Is your homeroom teacher. Mr. Who? Teaches biology. Mr. Jock. You'll have your battle-loving friend, Nimona. Nimona. 
Okay. And you'll meet Arvin, an upperclassman and a great cook. There's also Penny, a shy student in your grade. Oh. There are okay. gym leaders too, like Grusha, the ice type. Grusha. <laughs> The people you meet in Paldea are sure to enrich your adventures. Dude, these designs look really good. Wow. This Pokemon is the Paldean regional form of Wooper. It is Paldea it Wooper. It lives on the land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Dude, Blackface Wooper. What Fido the fuck are delightfully is that? delightfully squishy Pokemon that are smooth to the touch. Fido. And here's Satitan. And what the fuck is that body too? And a hard horn that can freeze its surroundings. Satitan. Of course, we also have the Pokemon from which you'll choose your first partner. And let's see their evolutions. Fue Coco. I want to see everyone get upset about Sprigatito becoming waifu bait. Oh my god, there's selfies. <laughs> By using the Union Circle, you can enjoy co-op play with up to three. Hell no, nah, bro. When <laughs> you can take you can selfies with for people. Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. Oh, this or game's gonna be nuts. To race across the map. I'm sorry, Enjoy four legs on, on Coridon and Maridon just does not look right. It looks so weird. Ooh, Terrastal. Terrastalize. Terrastalize what? The terrestrial oh, fuck Pokemon off, it's Dynamax. Pokemon shine like gems. It's fucking Dynamax! Oh. Okay. Oh, they get little crowns depending on what type they are. <laughs> That's really cute! All Pokémon in the Paldea region are able to terastalize, which can provide a boost to a Pokémon's type and make its moves stronger. Fuck off! It's Dynamax! Some Pokémon will change type when they terastalize. Oh. Oh, Pikachu becomes flying! What type they become seems to depend on that Pokémon's type. Persian was already normal. Drifloon being fire is different, though. For example, an Eevee would typically remain normal type after terastalizing. But <laughs> well, there could yeah. be Eevee that become grass or water type after terastalizing. Oh! Oh, we so they can change Pokemon types. With rare Terra types. Oh, that's really cool. Oh! Hell yeah! We got raids back! Pokemon that have rare Terra types are more likely to appear in Terra raid battles. Dude! I was hoping there'd be raids! You can challenge Terra Pokémon in these battles with up to three other trainers. Oh my god. This is a new kind of raid battle where you can Whoa. attack or heal with your own timing without having to wait for your allies. Wait, that's actually sick! What?! Try to cooperate with your allies to get the upper hand in these battles. I gotta say, I like that idea. Got I like Terra stuff. Touch it for yourself. I think terrorizing. I think that's a cool idea. They can change types? Like once per match? I think that's really cool. That's gonna be strategic as hell, by the way. Like, people are really gonna be, like, abusing the fuck out of that. We've kept all the things you love. They're gonna terrorize, so then that way. The when you terrorize. In Pokemon Scarlet, you're in able Pokemon to. Scarlet. You're able to, like, block a, a type. Something? I don't know. We hope you look people are gonna use terrorizing to, like, block a, a type advantage that somebody would have over them. And then the other person's gonna terrorize to block the blocking of the type advantage. So just get ready for that. That's all for today's presentation. This is gonna be awesome. Thank you very much for tuning in and watching. Hell yeah. So that's what the whole crystal thing was. I thought it was gonna be like past and future, but no, no. I really thought it was gonna be past and future, but no, it's just it's just crystals, I guess. Alright, well. Time to do what I, what I do all the time and uh, look at this stuff. By the way, don't pay attention to the activate Windows thing. I got some new hardware and I haven't had the time or money to activate Windows yet. Let's look at the official website and let's see what we got this time. So meet the characters. There's gonna be more people, I think. No, it has not been updated yet. What are these new Pokemon, bro? Also, yeah, so terrorizing the legendaries makes them into what they look like on the box art, but regularly they just look like deformed dogs and I'm not gonna lie, I kinda hate it. So yeah, I guess they didn't update the website. Well, that's interesting. Uh, in that case, I guess I'll just look this up and just scroll to when there's new stuff. Okay, so terrorizing. How do we feel about terrorizing? To be honest, I actually think it's pretty cool. So basically they don't have 
they don't have like forms. Instead, whenever you terrorize, you just have, <laughs> you get a little crown. <laughs> you get like a crown that goes with uh, your typing. And then it also powers up your moves. And it also, it changes your type, which I think is actually kind of cool because, I mean, look, that's gonna make the competitive scene an absolute fucking nightmare. But it allows you to have more than six types on your team, which I think is really neat. This is so effing dumb, man. <laughs> these are the legendary Pokemon. This Mariah is not at all how I expected these two to go. Climb on. <laughs> that looks so ridiculous. These dudes are literally built to be motorcycles. That, that's literally their design. Why? <laughs> They look so weird on four legs, bro. What? Dash across grassy fields, move across water, and glide through the sky. Seriously, what? Also, yeah, can I just say that uh, if they're being used as like your bicycle or your plane or like you know what you use to get around the open world, I'm willing to bet money that you're going to encounter the legendaries within like the first hour of the game. Like, you're probably- the first place you go for your treasure hunt, you're going to run into the legendary, and then you're gonna, like, freaking befriend them or something. And then that's how- like, that's how that's gonna- that's how that's gonna go. Also, yeah, so the story you weave is you desire. So there's three different, like, story arcs going on. But... They're all, they're all like different. So there's the usual gym battles. There's probably going to be one involving the villains. And then there's going to be one involving the treasure hunt, maybe? I don't know, but there's three different stories. And all of them can be completed in any order you want. So I guess just have at it. You know, just go wild. So wait, can you literally just become the champion and then just go do everything else? <laughs> That's kind of hilarious, honestly. You could just go become the champion and then just come in and be like, Professor, I finished the treasure hunt. And the dude's like... He just- he sees the news, he's like... Did... Did you just... Did you just complete the league? And he's like, yeah, I did, but I did- the, I did the treasure hunt. Did you just become the strongest person in the country? Yeah, I did, but I also did your assignment. By the way, these gym leader designs look really cool. Who the fuck is Grusha? Course along Victory Road. Yeah, what the fuck is that thing? Oh yeah, let's just talk about this guy. Whooper, Paldea form. I'm, I'm really, look, I'm really not trying to make like a, like an edgy joke here. But this literally just looks like Whooper, but brown. Like there isn't really that many other distinguishing features from the original Wooper. It literally just looks like Wooper, but brown. I mean, I'm guessing he's a ground type, which is cool, but yeah, I'm gonna just call him Blackface Wooper because he's literally just Wooper, but he just covered himself in mud. Land and covers its body with a poisonous film. Yeah, it literally literally just covered its body in mud delightfully squishy pokemon that so this is this is a uh, the dog of this region named fido god damn it that is such a good pun what dog is that based off of because i feel like i feel like i know is it a shih tzu i don't know about dogs but i gotta say i'm really excited for gen 10 when they decide to make a a pokemon that's based off of like crust dogs <laughs> what is that even gonna look like? <laughs> it's just gonna be a Pokemon based on crust dogs that like stay alive well past their expiration date. You know, you know the ones I'm talking about. What the hell is this thing? Which has a large body and a hard horn that can. Cititan? This thing looks like a fucking mythological beast. This looks like a pseudo legendary. Look at this thing's mouth. I mean, look, it's a whale. But like, what the fuck is this thing? This thing looks terrifying. It surroundings. What the fuck? What is it? Seriously, what is it? I mean, it, it's a whale, but this thing has just giant horns protruding from its face. Oh my goodness. Oh yeah. 
So Pokedex is done in like a bookshelf, which I think is it's really cool, honestly. It's gonna make having a full Pokedex actually look really cool. So look at that. There's like a there's like a whole Pokedex entry, like with a picture, habitat, details. I think that's dope. There's selfie mode. That's going to be hella fun. I the reason I'm not playing God of War when it comes out is so I can so I can like have more time to put into this game so I can play it with all my friends. Literally, when I play Pokemon on stream, half of it is going to be trying to do the story and the other half is going to be just fucking around with people. It's going to be so much fun. I am so excited for it. Using the Union Circle, you can enjoy co- So yeah, we were definitely right about that. The Union Circle. So basically you go to the Pokemon centers to call in people. That makes sense. You can go look for Pokemon you haven't yet discovered. Shiny hunting with the boys is going to be a goddamn nightmare if only one person can catch a shiny. Y'all are going to be like, if you are all sitting in the same room, it's going to get to the point where you are actually fist fighting each other to try and get each other away from your switches. So then the person can get their shiny. But if everyone can get the same Pokemon and that includes shinies, then that'd be great. Speaking of shinies, uh, are they going to show up in the overworld or do you have to like encounter them? Because it seems like, you know, everything's just in the overworld. Or even ride together to- <laughs> Me and the boys just rolling out on our legendaries. Seriously. Like, Maridon is fine, you know? He's literally- He's literally a living toaster, but Karidon? Karidon just does not look right. I'm sorry, it does not look right. I never imagined the, the, the big wheel looking things on him to actually spin. But at the same time, the fact that he uses his legs are just... No, no, it looks so much worse. Look at this shit, bro. Seriously, why are these legendaries designed to just be living ATVs? <laughs> it's so weird. But at the same time, we're all just gonna be pulling up on the, on our legendaries. That's gonna be really, really effing fun to do. Seriously, they said, oh wow, you know, we 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 decided to take a page from from Legends Arceus, and you know what we're gonna do? We're going to we're gonna take the ride Pokemon. We're just gonna just gonna roll them all up and just smash them into one thing. So now this Pokemon can glide, roll around, climb up hills, and and jump too. He can also jump. And this is just, this is just your partner now, like, what? So how do we feel about Terrastal? Or like, Crystal Evolutions? Cause like, I, I think it's kind of neat. It's like Dynamax, except it doesn't like, limit your moves. Cause what happened with Dynamax is that you grow, like, you know, you become super big and I think that's really cool. However, then all of your moves literally just become like, the move for that type. Like any fire type move would just become like, Max Flare. In this case, it actually looks like you get to power yourself up and change your typing, which is kind of wicked, honestly. And the fact that like multiple people can do it at the same time is also really cool. So yeah, you can hit Terralize or Terrestalize and uh, you just, you just become a crystal. Oh, it only powers up the move of your type. Okay, that makes sense. So basically you power up grass moves because obviously you're grass. The terrestrial phenomenon makes Pokemon shine. <laughs> That's not even a Pokeball at this point. That is an actual artifact. Do you see how shiny that thing is? Dude. This looks so cool. All Pokemon in the Paldea region are able- My boy is dripping. My boy is absolutely dripping. Do you see him? Which can provide a boost to a Pokemon's type and make its moves strong. And also make its moves extremely, like, over-extravagant. Do you see how effing sparkly the moves are? That is such a flare. Like... Bro, shiny Pokemon? Every Pokemon is shiny now. In fact, even their attacks are shiny. I just realized if you terrestrialize a shiny Pokemon, you'll have a shiny Pokemon that is literally made of glass. That is maximum shinage right there. So I don't think we're gonna see any like special Terra forms. Instead, like what they have for like Gigantamax forms in Gen 8 is gonna be like the Pokemon that like have really rare Terra types. 
But the fact that you can change terror types is really cool. I like that a lot. Right. They added max raids, or they added raids again. That's so good. This looks sick. You can like this actually looks can sick. Raid battle where you can attack or so everybody just kicks the crap out of it on its own. That's nuts. That's actually crazy. So everybody just fights this thing independently. However, you're all doing it at the same time. And you can like also heal people at the same time. That's so cool. That's that's so much more engaging than like max raid battles. I'm just happy about the fact that they actually kept like raid battles as a thing. Because those were like one of the most fun things to do in uh, Sword and Shield. So I'm really happy that they're keeping this as a uh, as a thing to do. Try to cooperate with your... Everybody terrestrial. Oh, everyone terrestrialized this the same type. I see. To get the upper hand in these I see that. Battles. Wow, that is. Oh my. Okay. Try to cooperate with your allies. So everybody terrestrialized this the same type, and to then get you the could just. Hand in these battles. The effing frame rate on this. Hold on. Try to cooperate. Oh my god. To get the upper hand in these battles. This thing's at like 10 frames per second. Oh no, that's bad. You'll get the opportunity to catch it. For yourself. I'm sorry, can we just Be see that catching animation again? Pokemon, that is anime as fuck. That that is like Kingdom Hearts level of sparkles on your on your special attacks. Yeah, it's updated. Okay, sweet. Now it's finally been updated, so now I can actually get a better idea of what's happening here. This is racist to keep them from drying out while living on land. They began to cover their bodies with a poisonous film. They're literally covering themselves in mud. <laughs> what is this thing? What the fuck is this thing based on? I can't tell which thing is more questionable. The fact that its body is moist, or the fact that its breath contains yeast. Oh, that's kind of really weird. I, uh, I, I, don't, I don't know how I feel about this thing. It shouldn't have eyebrows. The fact that it has eyebrows makes it look kind of, makes it look kind of off to me. Maybe I don't know. I would be completely honest. This guy is a weird ass looking dude. I mean, to be fair, it looks like a Pokemon, but like, so Titan is just. What the fuck is this thing? Oh yeah, I forgot the fact that its jaw extends past its fucking eyes. Like what? <laughs> that thing has massive overbite. Oh yeah, it's like. Seven new characters now. Oh, there's a lot of new characters now. Okay, so I guess let's just start from the top. There's Arvin. Arvin is an upperclassman at the academy. He's really good at cooking and researching healthy recipes that will help Pokemon feel better. He'll be asking you to help him out since he isn't very good at battles. <laughs> Get good. Flavel. He acts as the director of the academy, and since you're a new student, he will teach you many things about your school. He can be strict, but he can also be kind. He seems to be a friend of the professor. Why does this guy look like he is secretly evil? And I'm not talking about like Chairman Rose secretly evil. I mean, this guy looks like fucking Cyrus. I, I think it's the, I think it's the cheekbones and also something about the pose. He's just kind of standing there and look like he's ready to order a hit on somebody. Seriously, imagine if the headmaster of the academy is just evil <laughs> and you gotta fight him. <laughs> Seriously, look at this face. You know what this kind of looks like? Let me just pull this up. This kind of looks like the guy from, uh, fucking Half-Life. It gives similar vibes, you know? Why do I feel like this guy's gonna be evil? Seriously. This guy has evil written all over him for some reason. I don't know why, I just feel it in my gut. Grusha. I like this design. Grusha used to be a professional snowboarder, but he is now the gym leader of the Glacio Gym full-time. He? That, that's a guy? Ooh. <laughs> okay, uh, Twitter is going to have a, a bit of a day of reckoning with that one. He's an ice type specialist who has the Titan as his partner, he's usually cool headed, but when battles get heated, he starts showing the emotions he usually keeps pushed down. Well, yeah, that's normally what happens when guys have scarves. Either guys or girls have scarves over their mouths in designs you know when things are getting heated the dude's gonna rip the scarf off and he's going to be like just full-on shouting at you he's gonna be like blah, blah, blah. <laughs> he's gonna be pissed i gotta say this design is really sick though i like it like i like it a lot jock 
I don't know how to describe it. I feel like there are like several, several people out there who just immediately fell in love with this guy. I don't know how to describe it. I'm not one of those people. But I mean, like, there are some people who are, like, swooning over this man right now. You know what I mean? He just has that kind of energy. He's your teacher? Are you gonna have to pass tests in this game? Oh, that's lame as fuck. Oh boy. Oh, Penny. Penny's in the same grade as you. She has a bit of a shy personality, and for some reason she doesn't seem to come to the academy very often. She's especially fond of the fluffy Eevee bag and always has it on her back. This girl looks like she has, like, a Splatoon 2 original character. She is definitely, like, one of the shy artists who, like, never come to school. Like, seriously, she looks like she's a Twitter artist. Who, like, specifically specializes in Splatoon. You can see that, right? She's got the glasses, the oversized bag, the, the hoodie in 90 degree weather. I, th I think it all fits. Meet a variety of people in Pokemon Adventure in the world the way you want to. That's awesome. That's actually so cool. I remember we were talking about that last time. We were like, man, I really wish that you can like go and just individually fight each of the gym leaders. And it looks like that's actually the case, which I think is sick. So basically you're just, you're just able to run around and just do stuff at your own leisure. You know, like if you just wanna, like if you're on the way to somewhere, and then you see like, hey, you know what? This is actually like five minutes out of the way. I might as well tackle this gym while I'm in the area. You could just go do that. I like it. New forms discovered for legendary Pokemon Coridon and Mirai. <laughs> I'm sorry, this looks so stupid. I mean, I like the idea, but at the same time, just what the hell? <laughs> it seems Coridon and Maridon have even more forms than those you've originally discovered. They're capable of changing their forms to better suit what they're doing or what terrain they're traveling over. Ride the legendaries to traverse the expensive Poldea region and explore every nook and cranny together. There's drive mode, aquatic mode, glide mode? Bro, what? Okay, 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 look. I'm just gonna pull this up, just because this will better emphasize what I'm talking about. This picture right here is like... I mean, people kept on joking about the fact that like, hey, these guys kind of look like motorcycles, and I'm like, yeah, I guess I could see the wheel. But the fact that they're actually just like, straight up bicycles now? Like, what? Honestly, I, I think after seeing the... Seeing like, the real forms, or like, the regular forms, and now seeing them running around like this on four legs is uh and you know what it kind of feels like actually it kind of feels like um seeing the origin forms of dialga and palkia for the first time because like it's cool and like you know it keeps the original design of like what they're going for but at the same time it is like just jarringly different enough to just make you feel kind of off you're like, wasn't this guy on like two feet and he looked really cool? He looked like some kind of, some kind of hippie Godzilla. And then just, he turns into a fucking bicycle. Not even a bicycle, he still runs on his, on his legs. If he runs on his legs, then why the hell did you give him wheels? See, the thing is Maridon, I can actually see it. Cause like, you know, Maridon is like electric and he's like, a, he's an electric dragon. Looks like it was man-made. Coridon is literally a living being. Why? <laughs> it looks so weird. The sprawling landscapes and vibrant towns woven into the Paldea region. A land of vast open space dotted with lakes, towering peaks, wastelands, and perilous mountain ranges. Along the way, all sorts of trainers will be adventuring and honing their skills with Pokemon battles. You can find lots of people in Pokemon living together in a variety of locations, ranging from a farming village to a bountiful harvest to a port down with a bustling marketplace. There's also Pokemon living in treetops, rivers, all sorts of other locations in the wilderness. That looks like a damn... That is not a region, that's a fucking continent. Are you kidding me? Wait, 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 wait! Dude, that region is huge! 
Look at that. There's there's a there's a desert, a mountain range, a dense forest, a giant lake, a, a literal hurricane in the center. Dude, this looks nuts. Holy crap. This place is massive. I mean, according to the leaks and stuff, they said that they said that it was going to be similar to um like Legends Arceus, except as if it's if all of the areas in Legends Arceus were like rolled together and then some more, which is really sick. To support trainers, there are many outdoor centers scattered about Paldea. They can easily find centers from far away. They light up at night. Each of them has a Pokeball sign on the roof. So these are Poke Pokemon centers. I was totally right about that. <laughs> this image is so stupid. <laughs> Ima imagine just working at a CVS, and then somebody just rolls up on like... N not a horse, like some kind of like mythical creature, like a fucking Pegasus. Somebody just rolls up on a Pegasus to a CVS. And starts saying like, hey, can I have like a Hershey or two? Here's like 20 bucks out of my $1,500. How would you react to that? Depending on version of the game you have, the Pokemon that appear will be different. Okay, so Larvitar and Bagel, if, uh... If they have, like, if the leaks are right in any capacity, then, uh, Tyranitar and Salamence are gonna get, um, they're gonna get regional forms. And they're gonna look really fucking cool. These titles have the hallmark story of going to gyms and aiming to become champion, but there's no set path, so you can go to whatever gym you want to challenge in the order you desire. Furthermore, there are other there are two other grand stories behind besides becoming a champion, and many trials and tribulations await you in these stories as well. Furthermore, you can freely go back and forth between all three, allowing your adventure to develop in the way you want to. Some may want to reach the rank, the rank of champion and rush to the gyms, while the other might want to adventure at their leisure, at times searching for Pokemon and meeting all sorts of people. That is so sick! What the hell? Dude, this game's gonna be an absolute fire thing to stream. I'm gonna be playing this game for like seven hours at a time. I'm gonna get like no sleep, ain't I? Pokemon shine and glimmer like gems thanks to the Terrastal the Terrastal phenomenon. What is the Terrastal phenomenon? Yeah, good question. Terrastalizing a Pokemon allows you to enhance your battle strategies by increasing the power of any moves that have the same type as the Terra type, or by changing your Pokemon's weaknesses. That is going to be stupid! So you can terrestrialize once per battle and the transformation will last until it ends. So it just, you're just able to like change the typing and just keep it that way? Dude, that's so stupid! Once you terrestrialize a Pokemon, your Terra Orb will lose all its uh, terrestrial energy and you won't be able to use it again until it's been recharged. You can charge your Terra Orb if you touch crystals overflowing with terrestrial energy or go to a Pokemon Center. Oh, cool. So it actually has like a cooldown. I mean, that's gonna be really inconvenient, but I kinda like that actually. You can't just go into every battle, terrestrialize, and then just clean house. You actually have to like charge up before you go to it. That's really cool. That actually kind of adds like some power to it, I guess. Cause you know, if you're not right next to a Pokemon Center and you're like, okay, should I use my Terrastalize thing now? I guess if you are doing like multiple raids at once, then it might be a little harder to get that done, but whatever. Fight alongside friends within the time limits for Terra raid battles. I am so happy that they bought back Terra, like not Terra, the, the fact that they bought back, um. Uh, raid battles Because max raids were like by far one of the best things about Pokemon Sword and Shield It's like one of the only things they actually did right in that game Take on these battles by coordinating and increasing the stats of your Pokemon on your side or healing them. I like this This is so cool This is way more of an active kind of raid instead of like, you know, everyone just going one at a time This is so cool Expand your options in co-op play by cheering. There are three kinds of cheers you can use and they'll benefit all the allied Pokemon on your side. The three effects of boosting... Oh, the three effects are boosting attack and special attack, boosting defense and special defense, and healing. Anybody can use these cheers, allowing you to play cooperatively, even if your Pokemon hasn't learned any moves to support other Pokemon. <laughs> 
So wait, 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 can everybody just cheer at the same time and just heal up the entire effing team to like full? Because that's a little stupid. You'll be able to search for allies to join your entire raid battles or you can join somebody else who is searching for allies. Oh, so you can just do this like regularly. Damn, I like it. I really like it. This is, <laughs> this is really cool actually. Like seriously, how is this game like, this game's gonna turn up so hard. I mean, I, I know it's gonna take a while for me to finish it on stream, but like, at least just playing with people. I'm definitely gonna try and have people come into the stream every so often and be like, yo, I'm gonna get all my friends and we're just gonna spend like the first two hours max rating or terror rating. Oh my God, I am, this game, this game looks so good. I mean, look, the, the graphics, I don't know if the graphics are the best, but whatever. It's on the Switch, and also the gameplay is really what matters, and the gameplay looks really effing good. Oh, man. That's, that, that's, that's really hot. Um, uh, I guess the only thing that I just have to kind of cope with is the, uh, the fact that these guys have turned into bicycles. I, I hate it, honestly, but... I, I guess I, I just gotta live with it. Whoopee.